Greetings, my friends. Please consider supporting me in my war to save pop culture by subscribing to my channel and possibly even becoming a channel member for exclusive videos, access to Doomcock emojis, and more. And if you like this video in particular, please consider using the new Super Thanks feature and putting a tip in the tip jar located next to the like buttons down at the bottom of the video. Thank you for watching, and now, on to the video. Greetings, my friends. I am Dictor Van Doomcock, the future ruler of Earth, broadcasting from my hidden base at the center of the Earth. And I am here today because I'm getting reports of a number of setbacks for Kathleen Kennedy inside Lucasfilm. Some very juicy rumors of how Kennedy is feeling the heat as the end of her tenure at Lucasfilm draws ever nearer and retirement looms ever larger. At this point, Kennedy is reportedly concerned about her legacy moving forward, but increasingly, her legacy appears to be one of failure, a string of disasters that are, if anything, worsening in the twilight of her career. I'll be talking about these failures in a series of videos, but in this video, I'm going to focus on one failure in particular, Indiana Jones 5. This film has been a colossal cluster suck from the start, and from what my Hollywood spies are telling me, it's only gotten worse. A result I find almost mind-boggling, given that Disney delayed the production of Indiana Jones 5 for a full year after I released some stunning leaks on this very channel about what Kennedy was planning to do to Indy in this final film. And after I broke that story, the mainstream media picked up on it two months later, and for whatever reason, following all this tumult and brouhaha, Disney decided to delay the release for a full year. This video will update you on just how bad things have gotten for Indiana Jones 5, and will illustrate why Disney is so upset over this situation. So watch this video all the way to the end, or you'll miss out on some key information that you will want to know. Now, when Disney announced the one-year delay in the release date, I was told Disney was mandating reshoots for this atrocity in an effort to avert disaster. But now, given some brand new information provided to me by my Hollywood spies, I honestly don't know what the hell they were doing this last year. Because from what I'm hearing, Indiana Jones 5 is a genuine shit show. A bomb just waiting to explode in theaters that will forever tarnish the brand and ruin Indiana Jones. This was certainly a case where hashtag Doomcock was right, man. You nailed this story, dude. The media played catch up. Lucasfilm had to go back to the drawing board for a full year, all because you sounded the alarm. Indeed. I was contacted by someone on the set of Indiana Jones 5 who was alarmed and revolted by what they read in the script. That's why most people send me and my Hollywood spies leaks. They're fans like us, who dream of working on projects like Indiana Jones, Star Trek, Star Wars. They get the job, and then when they see what Disney or Paramount or the BBC are doing to the things they love, they get just as upset as we are, and they sound the alarm. Such was the case with Indiana Jones 5, and subsequently I am informed that Kennedy was extremely upset to learn that my video was close to 100% accurate, and even the higher-ups at Disney were shaken by what they learned from my reporting. Well, I have an update on Indiana Jones 5 that reveals just how much trouble this production is in, even after the reshoots. But before I get into that, I'd like to recap the horrible details of what Kennedy has had planned for Indy prior to the reshoots, because you'll need to keep this in mind to appreciate the update I'm about to share with you. Here's what I told you in a previous video. This time travel plot involved Indiana Jones and Phoebe Waller-Bridge as a plucky female reporter and or archaeology student, depending on the draft of the script you were reading, who follow some Nazis from the 60s back in time through a mysterious portal. In one version, this portal appeared at Stonehenge. And in the course of this time-skipping adventure where they travel back to Roman times, then back to the 30s, Indy meets his younger self. And lo and behold, Kathleen Kennedy uses her magic ability to turn everything into shit, 
manages to kill both younger and older indies, and then has Phoebe Waller-Bridge's character take up his hat and whip, and through the miracle of time travel, she actually becomes Indiana Jones moving forward. That's right. Kennedy uses time travel to erase Indiana Jones from history, replacing him with Phoebe Waller-Bridge so that Indiana Jones was actually a woman all along. See, Kathleen Kennedy really hates the so-called patriarchy, and by patriarchy I mean anyone with a Y chromosome, and so she's doing her best to time travel and erase as much of George Lucas and Steven Spielberg's work as inhumanly possible. It takes a special kind of incompetence to ruin a sure thing, Doomcock. To make an Indiana Jones movie, all you need do is find an archaeological object, preferably with magic powers, have bad guys racing with Indiana Jones to retrieve it, have Indy kick their asses while saying a few funny lines, and Bob's your uncle, your job is done. It may not be great or inspired, but at least it won't be a complete shit show of staggering proportions, which is what it seems we have here. Yeah, it's not rocket science skull of Calderon, but apparently it's beyond the skill set of Kathleen Kennedy, according to my Hollywood spies, who are now reporting to me that this film has not been saved by the reshoots, far from it. Disney is panicking because it's so bad they don't know what to do to save it. I'm going to give you the details now, but at this point, I must state that what I'm about to tell you is information provided to me by sources claiming knowledge of the situation. But since I cannot independently verify any of what I'm about to tell you, I present this information as unverified rumor, and I ask you to please take it with a grain of salt. My Hollywood spies told me, quote, While we are still digging into this, we feel it's time to bring you up to speed on KK and Indy 5. Allegedly, but we have enough to believe some of this, Indy 5 is bad. You know this, but we've been told that Disney has test screenings of not one ending, but six different endings, and not a one can get a good audience score." Unquote. Hey, that confirms your previous reports about scrapbooking at Disney, right? Scrapbooking is shooting a whole bunch of different versions of every major scene, making basically a choose-your-own-adventure book instead of a movie. And this also confirms the leak that you had from Inside Lucasfilm about how they had all those different endings. Almost exactly the right number. Exactly, Harvey. Doomcock has been right on this Indiana Jones 5 business all along. In yet another separate previous video, a source from Inside Kathleen Kennedy's camp leaked the following. Quote, yeah, as far as Indy 5 goes, you know that was shut down mostly because of all the leaking and your report on the movie was almost 100% on the money. Trust me, when I say Kathy was not happy with, can I call him DVD? My Hollywood spies replied that was fine, and the source continued, quote, well, she was not happy just how much information DVD had on the movie. There were a few that found it funny. I know that not much has changed, a few details, and the ending. There are five endings, and the director himself and one editor are the only two that know the real ending." Unquote. My spies said, so the movie is done? The source replied, I take it you knew that, and yes, it's been done for about six months maybe. Unquote. Well shoot, that was a long time ago, folks. Not only is this movie done, its goose is cooked. According to the recent update from my Hollywood spies, quote, We've been told out of the six endings they tested, the best one gets a 35% approval from test audiences. We've been told that Bridge put the hat on in every ending, unquote. Fucking son of a bitch! So they learned nothing, eh, Doomcock? They didn't learn a damn thing! They did these reshoots, but Kathleen Kennedy insists on having Indy die and having Phoebe Waller-Bridge become Indiana Jones at the end of the movie in every fucking version? Well, we don't know that Indy dies in every version, though I suspect that is the case. All my spies actually said was, Phoebe Waller-Bridge puts on Indy's hat, takes Indy's whip, 
and in a brave and stunning display of girl power, she becomes the fastest in the ever at the end of all six versions of the movie. And yet, despite whatever reshoots they did, the audience hates every damn one of those endings, with the best of them only getting a 35% approval from test audiences, which is god-awful, folks. I mean, think about it. The best Kennedy could come up with only got a 35% approval rating from audiences, which means 65% of people hated that shit. What a fucking disgrace. And Disney is absolutely freaking out about this. They know this movie is going to bomb big time, which is why they've delayed it as long as they have, despite it being finished. And according to rumors from my Hollywood spies, there is talk that JPEG may decide not to release it and take a tax write-off for it, or to dump it onto Disney Plus and hope that enough train wreck rubberneckers will sign up for the D Plus service just to take a look out of morbid curiosity. I suppose it's possible they may mandate a seventh ending and try again, but at this point, do you really think Disney is going to throw more money at this fucking disaster? I really don't know what the future holds for Indiana Jones 5 other than abject and total failure if they pursue their present course, and once again, Kathleen Kennedy will have bolstered her legacy as the woman whose incompetence destroyed everything that George Lucas built. And Disney? Let her incompetence rob their stockholders blind. That's the good news in all this, folks. Once again, Disney is paying the price for their lack of vision and their faith in their feckless friend, Kathleen Kennedy. Another franchise bites the dust, and another one gone, and another one gone. Soon, Disney will be out of IPs, and on that day, they shall know the truth of the words, Get woke, go broke, and without respect, we reject. From the center of the earth, this is Dictor Van Doomcock bidding you all, my friends, stay angry. Ha 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 